Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is part of a series that I like to do occasionally. It is the low Town Hall 9s and the Town Hall 8s. I typically record these in One Hive Origins, as I now am in. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at some attacks by some lower level Town Hall 9s and some Town Hall 8s. A little bit something different. We don't see it in One Hive Genesis, we don't see it in One Hive Alpha. Even one hive trinity now, not as much. Um, so this is truly the lower level, um, the lowest level bases and attacks we see in our one hive family here. So nice to see that every once in a while. And even if you guys aren't this level, I think you can often appreciate the attacks. It's a little bit um, nostalgic for those of you that were a town hall eight a long time ago. So this first one here by uh, Zatami. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know how to say that correctly, but um, this was a nice Town Hall 8 attack, and you're going to see hogs at Town Hall 8. That's pretty much what's working. That's what's been working. That's what always seems to work at Town Hall 8, um, but it's still fun to watch nevertheless, and um, this attack just crushed this base. Not the best layout, granted, but I think it had some decent you know, giant bomb possibilities. Some unknowns for sure, and these are going to be fresh hits, so you don't know exactly what's up. Um, as this attack goes, just to, you know, so you guys know, I haven't uploaded in quite a long time. I've just been really busy, and actually my phone screen got cracked here. Um, you can't see it in the recording, but the phone that I'm looking at right now that is being uh, mirrored onto my computer screen, actually the screen got cracked pretty bad, um, and for like a split second... Uh, I was worried like, okay, now there's going to be a big crack on the screen when I'm making videos, and then I realized that it doesn't quite work that way. Um, so fortunately, I can still record off my phone. Uh, my iPad's fine as well, but I like to record off my phone for some of these types of videos. So um, it's a little bit annoying to have to deal with, but I don't think I need to get a new phone. I'll just kind of deal with it for a while. Um, so that, just a little update on me. I'll try to get the videos going out a little bit more often. Um, I'm in a, a, a busy point, but uh, once the uh, once we get closer to the holidays, I should be a lot less busy, um, getting close to like the end of de uh, December-ish. So that all being said, a very nice attack. You can see crush this base. A nice hit to Zatayami. I guess I'll take one more attempt, maybe get it right. Two's better than one. Uh, double my shot at getting that one right, but nice hit nonetheless, and uh, we'll fast forward to the end here. This one was from the current war. We'll take a look at some past attacks as well. Like I said, both Town Hall 8, like this was, and those low-level Town Hall 9s with the low heroes, oftentimes hitting the lower bases. So let's hop into the war log here. Uh, this one's against the woods. have two attacks to take a look at. Um, first one here on the top base, nice hit on um, Nice La Loon. And um, you'll notice more trends when you take a look at these low-level heroes. This is stuff I've been saying for quite a long time. You're going to tend to see the uh, lots of wizards, lots of wizards behind the golems, because that's going to add damage that the heroes otherwise can't, uh, they can't produce for you. They, it'll get that damage that you're missing out on by having heroes that are just in the teens, and even heroes that are closer to like 10-10. Uh, which is getting to actually probably truer low-level heroes. These are more mid-level, um, especially for a lot of clans. So, um, they, but they tend to be lower level for like one hive Genesis family, just how it works um, in our clan family. But like I said, a lot of wizards gonna have those creating the funnel, and also it's good to get a few of those to go into the base if you can. I guess though on this attack, the lava hound and the CC um, gonna distract the queen. Doesn't make a huge difference if the wizards were there, but the, has the max bowlers, which you ha if you have access to those, they can do some serious damage, especially against a base that's not quite maxed out. Um, but coming in with that nice hybrid attack, that that's going to work a lot of the time on these um, types of bases that aren't necessarily anti two star, but they're just not quite cutting edge anti three star. Look to use those more traditional strategies. And the hybrid attacks, going heavy with the defense targeting troops, that being the balloons, but sometimes it'll be the hogs. Um, that tends to work best at Town Hall 9 against these types of bases when you have low-level heroes. Bring a kill squad, bring damage in that kill squad, but don't go too heavy on the golems. That's what tends to take up space and which tends to not get you as much value if you have lower-level heroes. Uh, one golem, I'd say two golems at the most, uh, but even one golem, just some wizards, some bowlers, or heroes... That's going to be the uh, 
to maximize the uh, the value of your kill squad without having to compromise too much troop space to do it. I think that's kind of the the happy um, medium there. So look to do that and try to go a little heavier than you might otherwise do with those back end defense targeting troops because if you have them maxed out, they're as good as a Town Hall 9 that has 30 30 heroes. Same exact troops. So use what you already have maxed out. Um, don't go too heavy with that kill squad with those golems, which are going to get a diminishing return because you have lower level heroes. Um, moving on to number three here, another Town Hall 9 hit. Then we'll take a look at the uh, uh, a few wars back at a one that was actually a tie. You get a lot more ties at this level because it's only 15 v 15 and there's no like Town Hall 11s or even Town Hall 10s typically. So all the bases can be three star and that often does happen. Uh, this one, just a nice uh, hog attack here. My only objection to this attack and you know, not even that big of a deal, but he could have Actually, he did a pretty good job, too, of getting his troops in there right after the golem went in. That way, that golem's not just going to get destroyed by the queen and all those defenses uh, while the funnel's being created. So he actually does a pretty good job. Um, but if he could have just got the funnel done like with some archers or something, I know there were some archer towers, but always look to get the... the if, you're, if your golem, as soon as you drop it, is going to take a lot of damage... You want to minimize the amount of time it has to take damage. So look to do something where you uh, where you can get a pre-funnel or you can place the golem somewhere else where it's going to be targeted by less defenses. Something like that. Um, in general, that'll help out your attack a lot because oftentimes what people do is they drop down that golem and that 30 troop space is just for tanking for the funneling troops. And by the time your heroes and the bowlers and everything are inside the base, uh, the entire golem is done so it would just pretty much serve to tank for your funnel not your actual kill squad so just be wary of that but uh, this is donkey nuts and this one um, like many town hall uh, nine attacks with lower level heroes you you don't have your queen left up at the end that's just the nature of having a smaller kill squad you're gonna rely on the hogs or the balloons but that's fine because the enemy king on the back end not going to be as high level on most of the bases you're attacking. Oftentimes the defenses aren't as high level. And if you have enough hogs or enough balloons, that is enough. Just make sure you bring some extra cleanup troops. Lower level Town Hall 9s, it's easy to run out of time because you come down to just having hogs left. There's less of a chance that your queen or your king will still be up because of the kill squad uh, being smaller and because those heroes at the end of the attack are going to go down easier to one point defense being on them. They have less hit, hit points, so uh, obviously they're not quite as as sturdy. So just be sure you have some wizards, you have some goblins, uh, whatever you need to, uh, to make sure you can finish off the base. Uh, but nice attack there. We have um, two more to take a look at. Going to our uh, most farthest back war. Uh, against Galat Empire. This one, like I said, ended in a draw, and we're going to take a look at number three first. Uh, one more Town Hall 9, then we'll end on a Town Hall 8. Uh, this one, 10-10 Heroes, the Doctor. So um, definitely, I think everyone could, would consider low-level heroes, and still a very nice attack, getting a three-star uh, by a comfortable margin here. He uses just the one Golem on the Mortar, works out the placement and everything, um, actually, two golems, excuse me. Uh, two golems, fairly wide funnel, uh, getting some good defenses taken out during that funnel. And both golems actually have a solid amount of health going into the base. Unfortunately, his king gets out in front, so he gets targeted very early on, and he'll go down. Uh, but the bowlers still um, sitting behind those golems. That's the one reason I don't like bringing two golems if you have very low-level heroes, is that oftentimes... Uh, the golems will be fine like they are right now, but you lose your king, you lose some bowlers. It's not going to be a guarantee that you'll get the full value from those golems. And they're tanking for troops, um, your heroes especially, that don't do as much damage as max heroes do. Um, so because the king went down so quickly, doesn't get the defensive queen taken out. Luckily, she's only level 9. If she was level um, 30, this could have very easily ended in a failure. But um, luckily... When you have lower level heroes, you tend to attack lower level bases, so not finishing off a uh, defensive queen isn't necessarily going to ruin your attack. Uh, she was pretty low to a few bowler shots anyway, uh, so she's she's not going to be much of a of an issue as soon as all the, the defenses go down and the hogs turn and lock on to her. 
Um, one more heal spell for that last area. Nice job saving those heals. He only had, I believe, two of them, so had to be very patient, especially when there was two giant bombs in different areas, plus this back end that has the wizard tower, bomb tower, queen. You basically need a heal for that as well. Um, so did a great job with those heals. Had a ton of hogs left up. Plenty to take out the queen and finish off the base cleanup wise. But like I said, you got to be um, careful. Those two golems, you're, um, you're tanking for things that aren't doing as much damage as a max hero's would. And instead of bringing the tanking troops base, you could bring extra hogs. You could bring extra damage troops, which might get you better value. So just something to think about. Definitely still a good attack. And I think the uh, the plan was good. Just the king deployment might have been a little bit early. You got to be careful because the king is a great way to take out the queen. If if you have only bowlers in your your own queen, uh, they're not the best at grabbing the defensive queen because they tend to sit back and not go up to the front where the queen is hiding. Uh, kind of deeper in the base so you got to be careful you got to save your king and make sure when he's that low level that he doesn't get targeted too early so he has the ability um literally the the king's ability to, to pop that and take out the queen so let's move on to uh, last one here number 10 one more town hall a and you guessed it, it's a hog attack this is kind of a weird base a little um uh i don't know how to describe it i was gonna say a spiral uh, yeah, I guess it's a spiral type base. Interesting thing there. Um, but this is going to be your typical um, Town Hall 8 attack in a nutshell. Uh, this is why I don't record these videos that often because not a whole lot changes um, at Town Hall 8. And even t low Town Hall 9, it's still going to be hogs or loons typically with a smaller kill squad. Uh, but that's how you want to do it. You use the poison spell on the CC if you can lure it out. Um, it's preferable that you do. Because if you're doing a hog attack, the CC has to get dealt with somehow. Kill squad attacks are not the most reliable, especially when the CC is still inside the base. Because you're depending on wizards to shoot down a potential dragon in the CC. Um, so it's just safer to lure it out if you can. And you can see right there how easy it was to kill that dragon balloon combo. Uh, but anyway, the king and the golem stepping up. This is just to kind of eliminate a giant bomb spot. Now, when you're deciding between a, a golem and wizards... Uh, with the king, kind of that little kill squad, versus just more hogs. You want to think about um, how much value can you get with the king if he's just dropped on his own? Can you trade him for the defensive king? If so, um, that's a good indicator. You might want to do mass hog. Um, can you get one or two giant bombs taken out? Can you get some good defensive value? Spring trap locations that you suspect. Stuff like that. In this one, he could have traded uh, king for king because the defensive king was exposed. But I think it was um, a pretty good move to use the kill squad there because he bit off a pretty good section of this base. Unfortunately, he doesn't get that wizard tower quick enough. So a few hogs are going to hit a giant bomb by this wizard tower here. Uh, but besides that, I think... Uh, Good portion of the base chewed off makes the hog pathing easier. And one thing that's overlooked is when you take off a section of the base, you're making it so your hogs are going to be in more of a contained path, which means they'll be, all be in that heal spell. If they spread out too much, it can be difficult to heal them. And uh, one mistake with the heal spells, if you heal the group that was smaller and the big group hits a giant bomb, you could end up failing an attack. So uh, something to think about there. But this is, oh, again, this... Uh, this name I can't say, but I guess he got double featured. Two nice Town Hall 8 attacks by him. Some nice stuff. Um, One Hive Origins doing very well. Uh, if it's a clan you're looking for, if you're looking for something, you know, a little bit lower level, these kind of smaller, uh, fun, you know, fun wars, I enjoy doing them. And I, I did them in the past a lot with just kind of friends and stuff uh, a year or two ago. So if you want to do the smaller wars, if you're lower level, uh, but want to be in the One Hive family and possibly want to... Uh, be in a video eventually because I plan to do this series, you know, once a month or something. Uh, be sure to check them out. Uh, but otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Uh, back to some, you know, typical One Hive Genesis attacks and defensive videos coming out uh, soon, hopefully. So stick around and you'll see more on the channel uh, over the next few days. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bisectron out.